Doug Bollinger is 24-7, non-stop, doesn't shut up. You know, look, I, I think the only way to sort of explain him is, you know, look, you play with a puppy dog, you know, he can chase a ball for so long, but then he gets tired and doesn't want to do anything for the rest of the day. You know, look, I think Doug is very similar to that. You know, look, he's got a lot of energy, but after that he's just done for the rest of the day. Well, he's certainly the, the life of a party, you know. He's, he's great to have around the change room. Uh, he's loud, but he's funny, he enjoys himself. Um, he's a real character, and... And don't get me wrong, at the end of a tour, it's, it's nice to have a bit of a break from Dougie, but I'm sure he'll, he'll put his hand up and say the same thing. Dougie Bollinger is my roommate at the moment on this camp, and I just walked in to see what he was up to, and he was nude on, on his bed. <laughs> that sums him up pretty well, I reckon. During the, the Champions League, I think it was, and we're flying between different cities, I think we're going from Mohali down to, to Mumbai, and everyone just cracked up laughing. I turned around, he was Dougie, and he's pulling off his lid, flapping around. The, in, the Indian Heat didn't really agree with the, uh, the glue and uh, he's pulling off his hairpiece, which is so funny. But he's, he's proud of it and good on him. He's got, a, uh, he's, got a, yeah, he's got a touch of Glenn McGrath annoying. Andrew Simons, some of the things he says are just, did that just come out of your mouth? Um, I guess talent is as good as any bowler going around. Um, yeah. So funny. He does does the jokes, and if nobody else laughs, he laughs. Um, but like I say, guys like Dougie, you need in your team, and you want in your team, and you know that he'll run in for you all day, every day. I love his uh, his big heartedness. He'll keep charging in all day. You know, even even if a pitch is flat or two batsmen on a hundred not out each, he'll be keep trying to get a wicket somehow. Whether it's talking to the batsman or bowling them bounces or in swingers or out swingers, he's trying something all the time to to you know get a wicket for his team. I love his passion, uh, even though he kissed the wrong badge one time when he got a wicket. Uh, I, just, I just love that sort, of, that sort of stuff, and he's a great asset to our team. I just wear my heart on my sleeve, and I just do what I have to do. I love playing cricket for Australia, and it's not something I've always wanted to do, so I'm just doing the best I can and making sure I enjoy every minute of it because it's not going to be around for long, and I'm trying to be the best person and best cricketer I can be.